Hello, good people of the internet, and welcome to this, the, the fourth video in my series on how to build a photography website using WordPress and the fantastic theme GeneratePress. So what are we going to do today? As teased in last week's video, we have some more housekeeping to finish up on. What do I mean by that, you ask? Well, now that our galleries look just perfect, we need to make the pages hero, area not stick out like a sore thumb. I mean, including the menu and the header in that. Let's log in and get started. By the way, if you are interested in what I'm doing here with my website, make sure you check out my previous videos and you might also be interested in what is coming up, so get subscribed. The first thing I'm going to do is add my galleries to the menu to spare me from having to open them uh, from the back end. To do so, we are going to select menus under the appearance panel. Give the menu any name, it has no real influence on anything. With the menu created, we can start adding our galleries using the appropriate panel on the left hand side. And I'm guessing that you, just as I did, will be adding all of them. In the menu settings, you will want to set the location to the primary menu. Just like that, our galleries have now replaced the sample page. No more clicking through the back end to find the link to each gallery. During the making of this video, I decided to do something differently for a change and not go for the default menu. Instead, I will be using the so-called off canvas panel. This canvas panel fills up the whole screen instead of just appearing at the top. And I think it might make for an easier finger-based navigation. First, I will have to select which menu I want displayed there. It will be the same one as on the desktop version of the site. So I will go for the menu named Galleries, which I just created. Next, I will have the off canvas panel appear only on mobile devices. You could also use the canvas for all devices, but I feel it makes using the site with a mouse much more cumbersome. You can choose between two different styles for the off canvas panel, either the slide style, which will slide in from one of the edges and not quite fill the screen or overlay which will fill the whole screen. I went for the latter. While I'm in the customizer I might as well style the menu I've just created and you should do the same because the default certainly isn't what I envisioned and most likely won't be what you want either. I'll start off by adjusting the layout. I'm going to significantly shrink its height because the focus should be on my photos and I don't want the menu to take up a huge chunk of a visitor screen. You will notice that I can't go any lower than 20 pixels. That's something I will fix before moving on. The reason for that minimum is the fact that my site's title is still rather big. Once again, I want the title to be there, but I don't want it to be the main focus. To achieve that, I'm going to select a lighter weight and I will also reduce the font size. Something I usually don't do on my sites, but have opted to do here, is to display the tagline. To do so, you want to enter the site identity option in the customizer, add a short tagline and remove the tick from hide the site tagline. Especially now that I've added the tagline, my menu desperately needs to lose some more weight. I will first make the tagline smaller and though it doesn't have any influence on the size, I decided to capitalize it as I was already in the appropriate section of the customizer. Do not forget to check the mobile layout anytime you change the layout or add text. In my case, it looks just fine. In case you have been wondering how to change that awful looking footer, you'd better get subscribed because I will be custom designing it using a generate press element in a future video. With that out of the way, we can properly start styling the menu. The first stop will be the color section. Don't just copy what I am doing here. You do you. I just want you to see how I achieve the design I am using. Everything in this section is pretty simple and self-explanatory. I mentioned it either in the last or second last video I published, but I'll mention it again. At this point, you really have to have your color palette in order, or you will have to do everything again and then make sure all the colors match and on and on. Save yourself the hassle and 
do it the right way from the beginning. As I was adjusting my colors, I came to the conclusion that my menu was definitely still taking up too much space. With the fonts already as small as they can be, I headed back into the layout section and adjusted my headers padding until a satisfactory design was achieved. As I was making sure the new layout looked good on all devices, I noticed that I hadn't yet styled my off canvas panel. As it is its own thing, it doesn't get its colors, etc., from the menu. I quickly set things in order, and having looked at the panel for a few minutes, I decided to also increase the font size and margin between individual menu items. I made them thick enough to hopefully avoid any accidental presses. Now that the menu was ready, I decided to move on to the next pressing matter, my heroes. And no, I'm not talking about Enrique Iglesias. Guess how we are going to create the heroes? You're right, using an element. Create once, use everywhere. As with every element we have created thus far, it starts with a container. I'm going to leave the spacing on the left and right hand side at 40 pixels because narrowing the container makes the text look longer if there's only a few sentences. I don't like seeing any text on websites that have fewer than three lines to them, that's why. You might want to do things differently and that is fine. In fact, I encourage it. Depending on how the header looks, I might still make some changes to the spacing later on. As for the background, I do still want the pink color I'm already using for the body's background, but I do want to lighten it up a bit to help separate the hero from the content. It should also make the black text more legible, and that is certainly a nice side effect. As I said in the previous video, I didn't like the way shapes looked in the gallery, but my hero won't contain any images and just text. Plus, because I set the spacing to zero in the customizer, the container block I'm editing right now will, will butt right up against the menu. That gives me an idea. I'm first going to add a very short triangle to the top of the container. The color will be the same as that of my menu. To make things a bit more interesting, I'm going to add a second identical shape, but this one will be slightly shorter than the first. I will also change the color to match the menu. At this point, the second shape is camouflaged. So what's the point of it? To make it appear again, I'm going to edit the first shape again and make it slightly transparent using the slider. Just like that, I have created what is in my opinion a nice looking and interesting detail to my site. You will see what it looks like in just a minute. Before you get to marvel at my creation, I'm going to add a headline block, set it to heading one and have it display the title of the gallery. Because my triangles draw the eye to the center of the page, I'm also going to align the title to the center. One more slight adjustment and I promise you will get to see the site. I want a distinct border between this container and the photos in the galleries, so I'm going to add one. I'm not making it too fat, but you will definitely know it's there. To match the shapes above, I will give it the same color. Now I feel confident in hitting publish. But first I am obviously going to assign it to all galleries. And no, I definitely didn't forget to do that before and never had to wonder why my hero wasn't appearing. Never. And there you have it, the hero to my galleries. If you want to change the title to anything else, for example, landscape photography, you can simply edit the gallery in the back end and change its name. Another thing you can do here, which I think is currently missing, is adding a description. For now, I'm just going to add some lorem ipsum text, but you would obviously write a grand introduction, catching the reader's full attention. You can also section the text into paragraphs, which I'm going to do for the Nature Gallery for demonstration purposes. To display the introduction, we need to edit our hero element. We won't change anything here, but we will add a dynamic content block from Generate Press. From the dropdown, you are going to want to select Term Description to have your text displayed. After updating your element, you can refresh the gallery and won't you look at that? There's our introduction. And doesn't it make for great reading? I did say earlier that I will have to see what the hero looks like before changing the spacing. And looking at mine, there definitely needs to be more space between the photos and the border I just added. 
That issue is solved by adding a slight margin and I think you will agree with me when I say that it looks much better now. And with the hero in place, I am calling it a day. I was planning to cram even more into this video, but I've done so much recording in the last couple of days that my recently tonsillectomied throat is starting to hurt. All the more reason to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on what is coming up. I'll give you two small hints social links and footer. As always, thank you very much for listening to me ramble on and if this video did help you out, please do hit that like button as a show of appreciation. It really makes a difference. If however you didn't like this video, hit the dislike button twice to make it extra impactful. And with that, it has been enough from me for one day. I've been Liam Alexander Coleman and this has been me teaching you how to style your menu and hero using January Press. You have not been Liam Alexander Coleman, but I will see you in the next one. Bye!